250 years ago, in the island nation of Japan, there existed an art form fundamentally ignored by its larger neighbors. Japan closed its ports to the outside world and turned back to a native art that had existed there centuries before. Despite the great skill of so many painters, one Edo period artist, Ito Jokichu, is now separating from the crowd. He seems to have just embraced nature, devoting himself to improving upon its beauty with the proficient stroke of his brush, and going beyond skill, making him different from all others. This Mandarin duck by Jokichu is in his more common and recognizable style, personable, calmly swimming with its legs visible underwater. This one was painted with a more fluid, spontaneous expression, full of life as he struggles against the wind. Or unique to Jokichu, he this time invented a new way to paint, an entirely new style by composing creatures entirely out of colorful squares within squares. Same three ducks, three totally different styles of painting, yet each duck is alive, expressing the true nature and essence of a Mandarin duck. Jokichu painted a large pair of screens, creating life out of squares, with colors arranged as never before. He imagined a Buddhist paradise for birds and animals, but how could he then justify painting a myriad of animals and birds that he had never seen? The solution was to invent a new way to paint, a unique way to relieve the viewer's desire to observe reality an imaginary way to justify imaginary creatures. Each creature is portrayed by using unique and different ways of arranging these squares and squares within squares. This is where our little Mandarin duck came alive. Can you find him? Oh, here he is. To understand this screen, you must study these little details. This is how Jokichu illustrated the essence of nature without a realistic and photographic representation of the subject. Does this explain what it is to go beyond skill, to imagine animals that do not exist, and then give them life. This is Ito Jokichu.